are so close to 100 subscribers and I am beyond excited. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a little try-on review haul on some Target sports bra. I just went down to my local Target and found some ones that are low support, medium support, and high support. For larger chested girls like me, yes, high intensity sports bras are my savior and I love them. But also, I don't want to be constantly suffocated. It's not fun. <laughs> so, with this video, I wanted to hopefully find some that are a little bit more comfortable, not as tight, maybe some that I can wear throughout the entire day that still offer the support that I'm looking for. All of these sports bras are cheaper than $25, so definitely affordable. I know that sports bras can be like ridiculously expensive and I'm not okay with that. I like to spend $10 max on most things and I want it to be like pristine quality. So let's get into the video. This one that I have on here is going to be the medium support sports bra that I grabbed. It has a super cute design, a beautiful little mesh lining up top, a little bit of a sweetheart dip down. You can see I'm having a little bit of spillage on the side. Not too much though and not even too much of a quad boob if I turn to the side. There's not really too much bubblage going. It has a clasp strap in the back, just like your typical bra. It also has some really nice and comfortable crisscross back that are adjustable. This one, like I said, is a medium support. And, I mean, they're moving. Ah! Oh, no, no! <laughs> this is not for active. This is not for activeness if you have big boobs. Um, it's only $24, so just right at that $25 mark for these sports bras, and I got it in size large. All in all, pretty good fit. I'm into it. This is the second medium support sports bra that I got. Um, they absolutely labeled this wrong. This is not medium support, and it's awful. You can see in the back that it's rolling up. I just put this on. I haven't done any adjusting or anything like that. This is the one where I was at the store and it was comically small. Like this is the one that I was like, oh, it might be for children. I wouldn't be surprised. It does have really good stretch, which is nice. It removable cut pads. With someone with a larger chest, I'm not like the biggest fan of them because I feel like they really accentuate like the nipple area because I feel like that's kind of all it's covering. There's like a lot of extra boob and then there's this weird little like Padded pouch right in the center. Mm, not a fan of it. This is a super stretchy, super soft material. So if you need an at-home bra, this is a nice one. Or if you just start a Zoom meeting and you're like, eh, I don't really want like my professor or boss to see me completely braless, you can throw this on and still be totally comfortable. Double check the price. This one's only $16, and this one I actually got in an extra large. So I would, if you're planning on getting this, I would definitely size up. Uh, I'm not going to do a jump test. I'm just not. I'm going to get a lot of perverts on this video if I jump around in this like super loosey goosey bra. So let's try the next one. So this is the next sports bra. It's a nice quarterly color. I got a little something on it so don't judge me. It's just water. It'll dry. This one is low support. I got it in a large and I believe it was $14. Let me check. No, this one was $16. It has removable cup pads, as you can see, right there. They're very apparent. Oh, this doesn't fit, like, at all. I can pretend, I can be like, oh yeah, I'm so cute, but it doesn't fit. Um, the band that's supposed to be underneath my boob, there's still a bunch of boob down here that's not getting any support. This is what the back looked like. I'm a little bit bummed that this one didn't work out because the back is so cute. Look at that fun detailing. I feel like one of those like hot yoga chicks. You know what I'm saying? Those girls, the hot yoga chicks, you know exactly who I'm talking about. They always have the cutest sports bras. A little bit of back rolls going on so you can kind of see where it's not really fitting correctly and is a bit tight on the band for me. So I'm not going to do a jump test in this one because <clears throat> perverts are going to be all over it. So we're not going to do a jump test in this one. I wouldn't buy it as a day bra. It's tight in weird places and it has like weird support lining like up on my boob, not even underneath. So let's try the high support one and see how that one works out. So this is our last and final sports bra. It's a high intensity one that was $24. I got it in a 38 double D. I have not been a double D in years and probably will not be a double D anytime soon. I'm about a 34, 36 age. I don't, honestly, I'm pretty disappointed that this was the biggest size sports bra that I could find at Target. Target is a huge, fairly accessible retailer for many women, 
and a 38 band size is not that big. Plenty of women have a 42, a 44, or whatever, and also being a double D, that's not that big. So Target, you have got some work to do. Like I suspected, the high intensity sports bra is not cute. It's not, let's just say what it is. It's not cute at all. I mean, it's fine, it's just a plain black one. Um, it's whatever. I'm getting a little bit of bubblage. Okay, whatever. In the back, it does have a really nice bra clasp. Like I said previously, I love when sports bras have a traditional bra clasp. It goes on super sweaty. I can just go click, click, throw it off, and it's not like that weird, like, sticking to each different part of your body. So it makes it a lot easier. It also does have removable little cross straps in the back so I can kind of alter it how I want to, and it does have adjustable straps. Let's do a little bit of a jump test. Um. It's okay. I wouldn't say that this is a high intensity sports bra by any means. I can feel the band starting to creep up. So definitely if I was to do like an actual workout, I could see it coming under like this and not offering like the same support that it typically would if it was a nice fitted band in the back. If you are looking for a high support sports bra, this is not for you. I would say it's medium at best. So go on Amazon and get the Glamorized bra that I did a review on that's like 30 bucks that I just went for a run earlier today and there was absolutely no movement. So it's like, you know, you can pick and choose. If this channel ever gets big or if I ever get to like a place in my life where I can do like a fun little brand thing, I would love to make some really freaking cute sports bras for big boobs that are also high intensity. They never are. They all are like, zipper, cinch, duh, 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 duh. I'm like, it looks like I'm going to war. I'm just trying to get a little sweat on. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys know of any sports bras that you want me to try out, make sure to leave a comment and I will definitely check it out. I also recently made a new Instagram for my YouTube channel. It's Jaden, J-A-Y-D-E-N, I-R-L underscore. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun things, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye!